are you at a point now where you can be a fan and watch House of the Dragon, or is it too still too close? Is it weird to to watch someone else's Game of Thrones now? We don't need Rose. Uh, Nikolai, I got to tell you, it's an absolute honor to meet you, man. I'm such a massive fan, and your performance in this is fantastic. I, I watched the entire thing. So seriously, thank you for taking the time. Of course. It's my yeah, pleasure. I'm going to jump into this. I actually spoke with uh, Laura Dade yesterday, and she told me that when she was writing the novel, at one point she stopped, threw away half of it, and started over. And when I asked what she threw away, she said 100 pages from the perspective of Owen, and she still has it. And I was one. So I'm sure. So you did know that. No, she told me. She told me about this after we shot it. Well, OK, said, well, that's good. We, we've got <laughs> we've got some stuff for season two. I, I like that. That's a good idea. That's just that's just me saying it's not from her. It just no. But I, I think it would be. Uh, she also we also talked about how she you know what she imagined and I you know I thought it was really interesting because that is of, of course that is the mystery when you watch this show because we don't know where is Owen what happens to him is there anything that you wish that you could have pulled from those 100 pages anything that you would have loved to have known from the pers from his perspective well there, <laughs> there, there 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 are a lot of things I'd like to to, to know I mean I I think that uh, He's very um, Spartan in his communication with his uh, with his wife, and I think that's a, that's a question to be asked. I mean, why so little information? Yeah, um, but that's that's part of the mystery, and that's part of the fun of the show. I think. Yeah, this is a hard uh, series to do a junket for without giving anything away. You have to be very meticulous with with our questions and answers. There is a beautiful idea presented uh, very early in the series. It's this idea that every person has one attribute that most defines who they are as a person. I'm sort of curious, what would you say that quality is about you? I think when I when I read the script, there was, I mean, because because uh, Owen gets that question, he says, uh, "I'll do anything for my daughter," and I think that most that's one thing that most parents can relate to. I could definitely relate to it. I have two daughters and I, I think that is, um, and I, I believe I could say the same thing. Um, but what's interesting with that statement, because it's so powerful and you, you, you know, clearly he means it when he says it, that later in, in the show, I think as an audience member, you will start questioning the uh, authenticity of that statement. Um, and I think that you're going to battle that throughout the, the show. If you'll uh, just since we've never spoken before, if you'll allow me to just geek out for a brief moment, because just across the room over there um, is my dog and her name is Daenerys. So naturally, so I am a huge uh, Game of Thrones fan. Uh, I, I, I am in awe of, of what you did over the eight seasons. Your performance was absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just sort of curious. They just announced uh, another spinoff yesterday. And I'm just sort of curious, really? do you allow, they did, uh, potentially about Aegon. Are you, a, are you at a point now where you can be a fan and watch House of the Dragon? Or is it too still too close? Is it weird to, to watch someone else's Game of Thrones now? I know, you know, I have, to be honest, I haven't seen it. Uh, and not because I don't want to, but I start, I put it on. And then I was like, I was a little, uh, it was the same music, the same theme song. And it was kind of the same title sequence, just a little different. And I was like, oh, this is, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait another year. And also you'd like to have a couple of seasons so you can binge it, right? Yeah, that's how you want. It. It's funny you say that thing about your dog um, being, was being named uh, Daenerys. I was in, in Africa recently, and I was in the middle of, of, of you know, very isolated place, and suddenly a guy comes up to me and he goes, what are you doing here? And his, uh, he had, like, he knew everything about the Targaryens, and he had, his daughter was named Daenerys. And so, so it, it, it still, it surprises me to this day how far the show has, has traveled. It's, so, it's far and uh, yeah. wide. Well, it's, it's because of how incredible all of your work was. Um, and your work on this series is phenomenal as well, sir. Always wanted to interview you, man. I got, I know you had a crazy day, you know, fitting everyone into your schedule. So seriously, I really appreciate you no, taking it, the time. No, my pleasure. It's, yeah, it's man, thank you so honor. much. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for your time. Where we're going, we don't need
Rose.